What's up guys and welcome to another explore, kind of a different one, not really kind of abandoned building. We're out in the middle of the night <laughs> in the forest, like complete weirdos. Um, and we're looking for uh, the kind of like caves, like mini caves. Uh, Jack knows more about this, so I'm going to pass it to him so you, you can explain. Right, so basically this area we're in is called Fonthill Estate. Um, it's pretty big, it goes around, like it's about 40 miles long, you know, every way. Um, and it dates back to the 1800s. Um, William Beckford used to own the land. Um, his father was the mayor of London at one point, I believe, as well. Um, and he also had a abbey built, like a mile away from here. And at one point it actually collapsed, and now what's left of it is just a, a right wing of the building. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of a lot of like crazy history around here. So we're gonna check it out. Awesome. Go and subscribe to Exploring the Unseen World as well. I haven't done too many videos with Jack recently, but we're going to be doing a few more very yeah. soon. So go subscribe. This is a creepy ass woods. <laughs> it is. It's like a kind of a mist as well. You can't. It's not really picking up on the camera, yeah. but it's kind of like a mist everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Where's the whomping willow then? Everywhere. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Wearing the best, most suitable shoes ever for this. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll stay here so you don't slip. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, so that's where, that's where you stayed, is it? In the, that yeah, video? it was in here. Well, you stayed there the whole night? No, not the whole no. night. Like a couple of hours. But the road that we just went over before mm -hmm. we parked, this goes under it. And it right. goes to the other side. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty deep. Um, but a lot, th there were a few tramps in here at some point, and just people come here to fucking just mess around and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy how it's still here, even though it dates back to the like 1800s. Are we all climbing this? Um, well, I've done it, I've done it hundreds of times. It's not that, it's just my shoes. <laughs> Sorry about guys, I was no, we couldn't see anything at all there. I was just trying not to slip down that damn hill. Now we're going to like a pretty big like grotto like thing. And this is actually, this one's probably the most interesting on this side of the lake because at the back of the wall, it's really hard to see it unless you're like right up next to it. But there's actually carving. Oh, like a man or a woman on the wall. Are these man-made or are these like... Uh... To be honest, I think... They, I mean, they've, they've probably got to be man-made, but... They, ju they just look so natural. But at the back of the wall there, you can see the carving. Oh yeah. That's cool. Where are we looking? What's the back? See there? You can see like the leg coming down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if someone led down. Let me see if I can... We're going to get a snake out. Yeah. Yeah, that part. Ooh. yeah, but um, bear in mind this is it, it, back to the 1800s. So that has got to be at least 100 odd years old. At, ver at very least. I'm not sure when they started to like put this sort of stuff here, but. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. But you wish you brought your camera, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so see the archway on the left? Yeah. On the bottom right, there's like a little slope if you go down from the top. Hang on, I'm trying to get a focus. Uh, okay. So yeah, so there, can you see that little slope? Yeah, just there. Can you see the ridges in that stone above it? Yeah. They're carvings of books. Oh wow. Yeah. Or what I can imagine are supposed to be books, because it looks like the spine of a book. Have you, have you been in here before? I've been in here before, yeah. Before. I've managed to get through this cap actually. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. But 
people come here all the time and well they used to and they just cut all this off um yeah because there's a previous gate there from where they've yeah. knocked one off <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and of course like the ceiling of this place is all just stone hanging down and it's crazy have any of you guys ever heard of the gothic novel called Barkat? Nope. No. no. It was basically one of the, I believe, one of the first gothic novels and sort of romantic novels based on vampires ever to be written. And it was written by William Beckford. And he had a library, I believe. This is from word of mouth and from different stories I've heard. But he had a library in his abbey and it had some of the first documented written books on vampires and gothic sort of lifestyle and what have you. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Nice. Right. Yeah. Well, that drop there is where you get in through that little gap. Damn. There is like a little window over here which takes you up through there, but it's tiny. Um, I could show you that side and down that bit as well. You just gotta jump on the wall. Um, and there's a tiny little sort of like door, I guess. And again, you can look straight down, but into that tunnel. And you can see more than what you can from this side. I didn't know what level you want to quickly look at that. Can do. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, so I've gone a slightly different way. <laughs> Because, hopefully by the time this video goes up, you'll have seen this. The theme park expert I did, when I first jumped over the fence to get in, I hurt my foot. It's been hurting ever since. Okay, so I'm just taking a bit of an easier way. You can see it would go under like that and it curves like a C shape. That looks deeper this side, doesn't it? Yeah, I, th I think it is deeper this side, you know. Don't fall down that one then. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so weird, there's just like little things hidden in the woods. Yeah, right. Here we go, another one of these. The size of that one, yeah. Wow. Oh, and someone's spray painted. How lovely. Or a penis on the wall? No, it says Mr. Kennedy Hamill. Or is it? Is a <laughs> yeah, like the same sort of architecture going on the ceiling. It's just rocks, just fucking pointing straight down. Look at the size of that bastard on the left, just before the ceiling starts, just hanging there. Oh, Jesus, yeah. That, that's ready to fall. <laughs> yeah, this, this would curve under, around, to where we're just looking down. Go under the road to the first grate we saw going down, and then that's the end of the main cave on this side. This, yeah, like this is all cut away. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, you're going to open it. <laughs> no, I don't think that would open. That's a uh, huge fucking padlock. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> chains are fucking But yeah, it's amazing how it's just all here. It's been here for years. Well, I mean, that's it for this side, but it's a bit of a walk to get to the other side of the lake. Because <laughs> you can't just fucking go straight across. <laughs> how about I try and throw you? Yeah, right. <laughs> Leg and a wing to see the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's probably a good well, like Right, guys, hope you've enjoyed that. That has been Font Hill Estate. Thank you so much, Jack, for uh, telling us about it. It's been awesome. He's got right. the camera over there. Uh, if you guys like this, please leave us a like and comment down below. Also, go and check out Jack's channel and also everyone else's as well, Neil and Steph. I'll leave them in the description down below. And I'll see you guys again next time. See ya. Getting stuck, right. taser. Shout out. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that bloke's like, don't kill me. Neil! What are you doing, Neil? Are you stealing stuff? Are you, huh? are you thieving stuff? Am I thieving stuff? I'm thieving the camera.